closer to sunrise with some very uh, heavy storms uh, and some heavy downpours moving into the area. But a quick look right now keeps things very quiet in the Houston area. We look off to the northwest a little bit. We see a few thunderstorms that are kind of mixed in towards Brenham, but we look a little further out and when we look into Austin uh, and uh, all the way up a little bit even further to the north is when we begin to see some much stronger storms. We have a flash flood warning for one of those storms that's there. We also have a severe thunderstorm warning that's also for there. So that's just kind of an idea of that kind of activity that will continue to move towards the Houston area and impact us a little bit later on. We are just now getting an update from the National Hurricane National Weather Service of the tornado watch that has been expanded both in the time and the location. So this is flashing here to indicate that this is just now being updated. And pretty much what we're saying is almost all of the counties in the Fox 26 viewing area are now going to be under a tornado watch until 8 a.m. in the morning. So that line of storms it's going to have a little bit of rotation aspect of it. And again, this is something that is uh, brand new, just have been updated from the National Weather Service that the majority of the Fox 26 viewing area does now include a tornado watch until 8 a.m. We have a flash or we have a flood watch that's going to be until 7 a.m. So we're continuing to mix in these two different threats. The Tornadic or the severe threat and then this flooding threat. That's going to be something else that we continue to look at as we look at those heavier storms coming in. We've had a lot of activity across the Texas area as we look back towards central Texas, San Antonio with hail, Austin with reports of tornadoes, and that same tornado threat continue to move up to the northwest through College Station and into Madisonville. And Madisonville is where we find Fox 26 reporter Matthew Seedorf right now, where he has been continuing to track this storm system that started down near College Station and is now uh, has already moved on well past Madisonville, but even further, but we'll check in with Matthew right now to see what's happening in Madisonville. Yeah, JD, fortunately that storm really didn't cause much damage in College Station that we've been able to see. Uh, maybe we'll notice something in the daylight, but here in Madisonville it did. Uh, what, right, we're standing outside this business right now. Uh, you can just see broken glass. Um, we're seeing power lines down across the place, but also just this built business, you can the windows, the walls, the everything just blown out to pieces, bricks thrown to the ground. You can just see how powerful this tornado was when it went through town. We're told more than 4,500 people, the entire community is without power at this hour. We are seeing power crews out here working, but fortunately, no one was injured as of now. Police and firefighters are going door to door and just making sure that everyone's accounted for and OK. Uh, but right now, the main concern is the power outages and also it looks like possibly even more thunderstorms tonight as it's beginning to rain right now. Uh, but right now we're getting our first look at the damage. It's still dark. I'm sure we'll notice a lot more once the sun comes up in the morning. Reporting live in Madisonville tonight, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News. And definitely, Matthew, there are more storms headed your direction, and those will eventually get to the Houston area. So we've also got some video that we want to take a look at right now. This is going to be from near Austin in the community of Elgin. Um, I don't know 100% for sure if that funnel cloud that you see there is the same confirmed tornado, but this is from definitely the same area. It's sometimes hard to tell when you see someone else's video and you're not there for sure, but there was a confirmed tornado that did hit in Elgin, which again is a little bit east of Austin, and this video is also from that same region. So I have to assume that we'll probably put those together and say that this is that confirmed tornado as we saw that uh, move through. So what we're watching right now is that front itself, the boundary of where the winds are shifting and it's that drier air colliding with that moisture rich air. There's a little bit of that rain out ahead of that. That's some lighter rain. There's definitely a, it's a little thunder and lightning mixed in, but these are where the much stronger storms are. These are where we've had the severe thunderstorm warning and the flash flood warning that we talked about a minute ago. That kind of activity is what will continue to slowly make its way through 
to the Houston area. We can see this continuing to get a little bit better organized even in the last hour or so. So the future cast is going to pick up on that. It's going to continue to show that line remaining organized. Notice how it's getting even a little thicker, more red showing up. By the time we get to about 3 a.m., it starts to reach Sealy. It's going to move through Sealy and into Katy, and then hopefully we kind of keep that moving through at a pretty good pace. By the time we get to 7 o'clock, we're just about through downtown Houston, and then this will continue to move on through, and the rain will probably be done by around 10 a.m. We'll have some cloud cover that's left, but then we're really left with a fairly pleasant forecast after that. So. We've had storms already. We've got more storms on the way. Some of those could be the severe when we're talking about hail. That's something I haven't mentioned a lot of, but we're definitely keeping hail as a threat. The strong winds, the tornadic storms as well happening. And now we're extending that watch. The Weather Service has extended that watch to 8 a.m. for our viewing area. And then that flooding threat is also going to be mixed in as well, where those storms repeatedly hit the same spot over and over. Those heavy downpours are going to uh, perhaps put that temporary street flooding uh, out there. So want to make sure that we're staying safe, staying put wherever you are. Uh, make sure that you're prepared for the electricity to go out. That's going to be one of those common uh, threats that really applies to anybody in our viewing area. Do you have your phone charged? Do you have some extra batteries? Are you ready to sort of deal with no electricity for some amount of time? And that should include downloading the Fox 26 weather app because that way you're going to be able to check that information yourself. We can push some important information to you. You can monitor those alerts from the National Weather Service and there's a great live feature on there as well. You hit that live button and you can see anything we're putting out of our studio, which of course is a newscast or like right now when we are talking about uh, uh, breaking into programming, you can monitor that with the Fox 26 weather app. And of course, We'll have more complete coverage. We'll break into programming some more as necessary, but the news in the morning will start at 4 a.m.